puppies that are giving you different color poops, you know, yellows, greens, browns, mm -hmm. blood in the stool, things yeah. like that, and what to do about it. So I think this will be a good episode to kind of cover all those things because I mean we done we done seen it all, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So stay tuned. We covering poop. <laughs>
uh, bacterial, bacterial infect- yeah. infections in you know in their um, and it just soothes them out, you know. Yeah, and it just gives you time to find out what's causing the diarrhea. You know what I mean? Because a lot of time, if you're waiting just to see if the diarrhea stops, you're gonna do with the dehydration. And if you're a new if you're a new breeder, dehydration is super detrimental. To of you, course, you know I mean? yeah, like, yeah. Like it's, it's 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 hard for you know experienced breeders because to with catch the diarrhea, yeah, they're, just, oh, it, they're losing so much fluid and then they're and, pissing and they're pissing and, they're, yep. and it's they're gonna run they're like like they're gonna run out of so, fluid. So that's another thing. A key thing to have would be the IV bags. I know when we first mm-hmm. met. I was like, oh man, he's on the same type of time. Yeah, like, yeah. like having those IV bags, people don't realize yes, how important yes. every breeder, or I don't even want to say breeder, every person who's taking care of newborn puppies should have IV bags. IV bags, them. yes. You know, you know, because some some people say the Pedialyte, but some people don't like Pedialyte. You know, some because they'll say like the Pedialyte is too much sugar or something like that. But if you're dealing with a, a scenario that you got that it's got to kick in fast, Ring that Pedialyte fluid. ain't going to come nah, nowhere near no. as fast as you putting those fluids under the puppy skin. That, the lactated ringers, yeah. Get, yeah. It gets them going like every single time. Exactly, exactly. So a, a, another thing too, another thing too that I thought about was um, looking at also what's causing, what, 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 what could have caused the, the, the stool to turn into diarrhea right. or to change color. Yeah, right. You know, like, like that's um, what I'm saying. Like with the albon, it gives you it gives you some time, like like to find out yeah. what's causing. Because what I've looked at is like one of the things I'll quickly jump to look at mm-hmm. is I look at the the mother's milk. Oh yeah, immediately. Or or like does she have an infection? Like I had somebody who contacted me that her incision was infected. I told them I'm like she could pass on infections right through, through the milk, milk to right her puppies. Through the milk, right. You know what I'm saying? Them out. So I'll, I'll check the smell of the, mm-hmm. the milk, see if, see if there's a smell. I seen, uh, one time I seen pus yeah. in the milk. Yeah, I, I've seen pus. I've seen like some some brown stuff come out of like moms. And I'm talking about this is like on like the, the second day, like being here. Because a lot of people try to compensate to make more milk, yeah. not realizing the moms are going to make enough milk. Yes. You know, yeah, sometimes yeah. like sometimes they don't need all that extra puppies. boost that you're giving them. They, they'll give them too much. Yeah. And now when she's producing, she gets, uh, what's it called? Mastitis, like, Mastitis, yeah. Right off yeah. the rip. You're like, damn, like, you brought her here with Mastitis. Yeah, like, what exactly. the hell? Like, yep, yep, yep. So that, that sucks. So you just got, like, the milk. Milk is a big one, like, like the mom. So, so, yeah. So let me ask you, what is your thought process when it comes down to, all right, you see a puppy with yellow diarrhea. W- what are the factors that you're looking at as to, to backtrack? How... how how did we get to this point? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you, what are the things you're looking for to make sure that no, everything is all right, nothing's wrong? Like, what what are you looking at? I mean, first things first is you got to keep it real with yourself, your conditions. Like, how are you this keeping your puppies? Like, what yep. what conditions are you keeping them in? Like, are you changing these wee wee pads adequately? Or are you are you wiping them down adequately? Because you know puppies become stimulated off of each other. Yeah. So is if like you know one's crawling over the other one, like sometimes it'll stimulate them to go to the bathroom and they'll poop on each other yeah you know what i mean and then it'll be get rubbed all into them there some of them eat it so it's it's, it's yeah sometimes they'll suck up. on each other i've had right. puppies this happened I've, I've seen this happen plenty of times oh, yeah puppies sucking on the other yes, one's yes, genitals yes, yes. And, and ingesting the urine or, the, or the feces and, and then gets sick and kick the bucket yeah exactly. easy yep. Yep, yep so yep. like there's things like that you got to be careful with your conditions like that's number one and then I go, i've had to separate puppies yes of that. yes yes you know and newborn go, puppies yeah and, yeah. Then, and then i go to mom Yep. And then from mom, I'll check what, like, like how mom's doing. Is she eating? Check her gums. Make sure nothing's looking crazy and regular on her. Check her temperature. Yeah. You know, make sure she doesn't have yep. a fever. Because yep. fever is another thing. Like, a lot of people don't check their mom's, their mom's temperatures. Yeah. And they just think, oh, she's just going to feed. No, it's, it's good to check the temperatures, like, periodically throughout the uh, the, the, the uh, feeding process yeah. with the puppies because it keeps you keeps you on top. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I would check the mom's temperatures. Her, if, if her temperature's good, now we go to milk. Yeah, you go check milk. I even start, you know, you check the back, right? And, you know what I mean? Like we're, uh, you know, because they're, they're giving off bloody discharge. Yeah, so her right? discharges. Yeah. So you want to make sure there's nothing like irregular, no super pussy discharge yeah. or nothing yeah. like that. Yeah. Out check here. the incision. Yeah, check the incision. Make sure it's it's it's, it's colored nicely yeah. and it's 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 not opening. No black forming anywhere on yeah. it. No tears. Nothing in <laughs> the incision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then last but not least, I go in the ears. Mm. Ear infections. Mm. Yeah, ear infections straight down. It, once you because the ear infection bacteria can also go to the milk. Wow! And I've seen plenty of people who've had females pregnant 
that their ears, the, the ears are all jacked up. Yeah, then, yeast infection, right, ear infection. Right, right, and they're, right, they're popping the puppies right, out. What, right, and then they it. pop them out and they're like, yeah, these puppies, they came out healthy and then two days later, they all died. I know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know. Wow. Like, and at that point, careful. in my opinion, it's too late to kind of do the monostat 7 and the hydrocortisone Yeah, cream. you can't really do so it. So what I would do in that scenario, though, is probably just use like apple cider vinegar because that, that naturally kills. Well, it, right, it does. But it's probably already in the milk, so. Right. But I'm getting, but at, the, at that point, like when I get a mom like that, I just completely dismiss the mother. From yeah, you can't be afraid to take the puppies off mama and get your hands dirty. I just completely dismiss the mother. Yep, I agree. Hey, boss, uh, I think it, it's going to cost you more, you know, like with, like, with any whelper, it's going to cost you more because yeah. it's more product than all of this that's going into it. Unless you're lucky that that whelper may have a mom who's flowing like yeah, extremely yeah. well, yeah. and she has one or two puppies, and you only have two or three, so she she's yeah. able to feed five. You know what I mean? That so, happened with co- when I brought my puppies right, over, right? right one right. of my dogs, she, her, yeah. her milk was a little messed up. Her and, milk went bad, and yeah. the other guy, his his dog only had two pups, so you only had those. We put them all on, and she was producing a lot of milk. So yeah. your dog's yeah. actually like. Helped her, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. like helped her puppies as well because yep. it drains it out, prevents the infection from uh, you know over overproduction of milk. She had a lot of exactly. milk, like, yep, and it worked. Like, it works. Yeah. It works a lot. But yeah. sometimes you're not that lucky. Sometimes so, you gotta make this milk. You gotta get up yeah. and whip it up, and you gotta hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. That's one thing you can't be. Like I tell people, you can't be afraid of. Like, yeah. if there's something wrong with mama. Don't be afraid to pull them puppies yeah, off. Man, and, and, just, and I got an episode y'all could check out on how to make your own yes. formula, your own milk, you know? So that covers the yellow, the yellow poop and diarrhea. Typically we'll hit Albon, depending on your preference. Yeah. You, might, you might throw some pumpkin puree yeah. um, and just start uh, systematically breaking yeah. things down. Where could there be a chink in the chain? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Where could there be an error that's causing the puppies to be sick? And check um, the nipples too. Cause sometimes like if you, like, especially if you got moms like with really big nipples, you know, sometimes it's just bacteria, like yeah. dirt, they'll have dirt and the wrinkles of it. So yeah. just make sure you always give like the nipples a really good wipe down, and, make and, sure there's nothing on and there. And there's other drugs, there's other drugs that are the equivalent of Albon. Albon mm-hmm. is just one like name like NyQuil, but there's different yeah. brand name versions of it. So like, I know the fish version that you could get for it, but I don't think you could get it in liquid form. You could get it in a pill form. Yeah. It's sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. Yes. Um, so you could get that. And and if they're older puppies, you can give them the pill version. Um, I have that, but I prefer the liquid. Yeah, no, I, I think li- Albon's li- best. I think Albon is easiest. <laughs> I think Albon's best. I'm just saying for people who maybe can't yeah. get it, because Albon, you need a prescription, or yeah. you'd have to get it through like one of the websites or something like that. Um, but I know you could get sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim. And it's expensive. Um, yeah, it's a, it is a little expensive. A little bottle like this is <laughs> yeah. like, you know, 75 bucks. Yeah, they, it's so, expensive for Albon. So last question. Um, now, what is your take on if you seen if you see green poop, Mm. Or if you see, well, yeah, we'll start with green poop and then we'll we'll cover like red poop. All right, so green poop, green poop normally lets you know that there's, there's a bacterial boom, yep, going on inside the intestinal tract. There's a boom, like a strong one, and your puppy's probably at risk of you know catching a bad infection if you don't jump on this like now. Now, a lot of times people confuse just green poop with giardia, and a lot of times it's not giardia. You just have a lot of bacteria coming from somewhere a source like i said conditions mom milk you know what i mean same this, thing you this... were gonna the same things we look at prior, right like right said. so yeah. like there's, there's a lot of things that come into play with that but what i do I got the microscope from him <laughs> i take the poop and i put it under the microscope and this allows me to like thoroughly see what's going on okay you know? so so what what do you do when you see the green poop what how do you treat it oh i'm, I'm gonna start with the albon first you want to start with the Albon yep. first right off the rip because if it's not showing me like too much blood or anything, I don't want to try to overpower their, their immune system. I want their immune system to work, you know, work hard to get it done as well. But, you know, if they're strong enough, you know, but I start with the Albon and I give them a chance to do, do it with them. It may be a little bit of Clavamox, but yeah. like Clavamox yeah. depending upon the severity because sometimes Albon is enough. Like yeah. sometimes Albon is like really enough to like get it done. Yep. But in those severe cases, you know, like where you just see like how you say like you get a little green but sometimes you get a little bit of blood on it anytime i see blood i'm going straight to to the antibiotics yeah well yeah <laughs> something's yeah, yeah. going on in there well, well with the green the other thing too the probiotics yeah the, the other thing too with the green is also like 
I, like I tell people, I wouldn't also be afraid. Like if you're very unsure as well. I mean, obviously, other than you know, if, if people have no idea, then I yeah. guess you could go to the vet. But vets aren't that knowledgeable when it comes to super young newborn puppies. Oh man! But what I tell, <laughs> yeah, and they but, charge you five thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> but what I would tell people is, don't be afraid to switch it up on maybe half the puppies. Right. Maybe only give. Half the puppies, like, for example, like in a scenario like that where I'm dealing with the, with the green milk, you know, there's been instances where I just didn't know what it was. I took half the puppies and put them on on my formula right. and half on the mama. And I was like, and let's just change see variables what, see what happens. and see what happens. Exactly. So you'll get a change. You could, you could do that too, where you could put half the litter on Albon, half the litter on, you know, Clavamox or something or whatever. I mean, you can try different variables and see if, if it works for half the litter, then you know, hey, we're going to do this for everybody right. rather than just trying to do it for everybody across the board. Because That's also right. it's rare in, in the instances that we're talking about, but also like if, if you do something to make things worse, you just affect the whole litter instead everybody. of, yeah, it's, everybody, like yeah. So let's just say, let's <laughs> everybody just say you make a mistake it. and you make the, the formula too clumpy or whatever. Oh, and you about to deal with you the know, illest yeah, constipation so. cases ever. <laughs> So whatever the case it may be, you know, sometimes it might be best to sucks. do to test out half the litter versus the whole litter, you know. But um, yeah, with the green poop, I, I, I agree with you. Like I would hit them with the Albon and maybe throw in like a, a antibiotic, a light antibiotic like like Clavamox. Yeah, like like yeah, something something yeah. something small. You yeah. don't really want to like overpower their immune system. So like now you, you want to give them, a, you want to let yeah. them like fight to get their cells strong. You know what I mean? So now last part is blood in the stool. Oh, the worst. I'll, I'll let you start with blood in the stool. What what is your like, like when it, when it's blood? And it's and it, it also it also depends. Yeah. Like if it's one puppy, two. You know what I mean? But it, you know it's going to spray. Anything that has blood, more than likely, is like you got to assume that. Super more, most community. of the time, when you see one puppy with it, you got to yeah, assume that the other gonna one's going to get it. it. Yeah. They're yeah. All yeah. going to get it. Yeah. And then because a lot of times you have them in the same you know in the same area and they poop yeah. and they're just walking and sliding all yep, over, yep, so they're picking yep. it up. But I start immediately at mom. Yeah, immediately. You know you have a problem. Like that's yep. that's a that's an infection that's coming in direct. Yeah, yeah. Like, yep. Or like it's like a like a serious bacterial thing. Like somebody ate maybe someone eating the poop. Yeah. Or like I said, you got them in shitty conditions. Shitty conditions are like the number one. Yep. Like yep. shitty conditions are the number one killer of puppies. Like I don't care what no one says. They say, oh, this, that, yeah. that. Yeah. Go in the puppy court, coccidia, and the, the dot. You know how your puppies catch coccidia nine times out of ten? Flies. Yep. Flies are passing your puppies coccidia, yeah. and you don't yeah. even know. You could get you could get uh, <laughs> flies in parvo too, and you don't even know. Yeah. You're like, you, you know, get, my dog wasn't around anybody, and it dies because too, yeah. you got them in shitty conditions. So like, you, a lot of times you just got to start with the conditions. And but I remove, I start ripping apart every variable. Mm. Mom has to go; they're off mom. Yeah, I'm I'm stopping everything. I'm putting them on a nice a nice probiotic full uh, milk blend that you know that, that 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 we make here, and we we get them started with the Albon and the Clavamox. Yeah, I was gonna say, what antibiotics are you gonna do when you see the blood? Or oh, is it gonna I, be I'm, the same oh, as green? Oh no, I'm doing yeah, I'm doing the Clavamox. I'm doing the Clavamox because anything anything strong in the Clavamox, you know, maybe you can get away with like diluting the Cephalexin, but Anything stronger than those two, you really don't want to give it to them because it, it overpowers them. Like it overpowers their immune system, and then you end up getting like white poop. But it's because the white or gray poop, and it's because the digestive tract yeah. is shutting down. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because that's you, usually yep, yep. Yeah, because you overpowered it. So. Exactly. White or gray poop is gonna mean that yeah, basically things are shutting down, and you're like at that end where it's like yeah, liver is no longer producing yeah, the bile. To yeah. that, that's what makes your poop the colors, like with the bile. So if the liver is not producing the bile to break down the food, the food is no longer being digested. And it's gonna pass through the same way it came in. Yep. So I mean, with my take on the blood in the stool, Ugh. I agree 100 with what, what do you, you do with that? Gray, the, with, with what do you jump stool, to? I would say if I seen blood in the stool, first of all, same thing as you. I'm like, I don't want to say panicking, but I'm like, no, nah, I panic. I some, <laughs> I panic yo, we got a problem. We I panic, a problem. But, but I keep a level. Like, all right, what do yeah, we do first? We got, Start we got a problem. So I would say for me, if I see blood in the stool, obviously what we keep saying where it's like, go through systematically. Yes. Was it the milk? Was it this? Was it that? Was it Check this? Was it that? Everything. Um, I would probably, like I said, I, I would, uh, I'd probably do the same thing. I, I, I would go to the antibiotics. Mm -hmm. I would put them on the Albon. I would put them on the Clavamox, and I think depending on how old the puppy is, I would maybe even take it a step further and add some of that green juice cure. Depending that, on how yeah, old the puppy is. Yeah, how old and how much it weighs. 
Yeah, because you, know I mean? like you don't want to give that anything before like, like four pounds. weeks. I thought it was like, like anything before pounds, like right? four weeks, really, something like that. I don't try. I mean, you know? I'm not using it on the puppy. I'll be scared. I'll be scared. No, nah, I know, but like, what but I'm it's just, essential because yeah. we did it already, yeah. and, it, and it really worked. Yep, but what I'm just getting at is like I'm bringing in the heavy artillery right. when it comes down to something right. like that. You... Albon's ahead, man. The yeah. Albon only gets the job done. Yeah. But and even if it's like bloody poop, to, like it normally just stops. At least it stops the blood from being like runny and diarrhea, and it helps solid it up. And, uh, and, and IV. I'm, I'm, if oh, oh man! Blood, then more than likely the puppy's getting dehydrated. Oh, like rapidly. You're gonna have to throw IV I, immediately. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. You're gonna have to throw a uh, lactated ringer. You know, you, you'll take the syringe. Fill it up with the fluid. It'll bubble up under yes, the puppy's skin, you know, and they can Hold absorb the fluid. Hold for a little bit, rub yeah. it in. Because they're definitely going to be getting dehydrated. Oh, they're sure. extremely, man. And that, that's yeah. the killer. Like, with most of these infections, like, that that show in the poop, it's the dehydration part. That yep, kills you. Yep, That blood, um, yeah, I mean, really. The only other thing the I can say sucks, is I'm going to take one of the snap tests that I got, and yes. I'll check if it's Giardia. I'll check if it's Parvo. Parvo. You know, that, that's the other everything. thing as well. You know, and um, other than that, like when I see the blood like that, other than hitting them with the heavy antibiotics, like I said, the green juice cure, um, but the Albon, the Clavamox. Um, what I'm saying, when you, once you get any of those, once you get any of those symptoms, I'm telling you, yeah, I'm telling you, and I'm saying this from my own experience, get this microscope. Yeah, get yeah, a yeah, microscope. The microscope. Yeah, like take the you... think with that blood, I think it's one of those things that you got to act fast. Oh, rapidly. And, you got to move quick, too. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like I said, other than the heavy antibiotics, mm -hmm. I think it's really just uh, systematically, you know, breaking everything down, going through everything. Yeah. Um, just like we said with anything else, you yeah. know? Like, like, so, like, I'll even put the mom, like, if she's on like 250 moxicillin after the surgery. Yeah, clean out the mom, too. I'll Give throw, her some I'll antibiotics. Throw, I'll yeah. throw, yeah, like, she's on 250s, I'll double it to the 500s. I'll put it on twice twice a day for the 500 just to run a heavy dose to her like for that that one day or two days just yep. to yep. get everything out of her aggressively but not too strong where it's exactly. overpowering her 100 percent. and then you know allow, allow her day after that those strong cleanings to like yep. flush out so she doesn't have like high levels of the amoxicillin in her milk and then you let your pups you know gradually ease your way back and after exactly. you went through the whole yep, yep. the whole steps of everything because yep. it, it might be the mother you know what yeah. I mean? but it might be conditions it might be and the weirdest thing is too, a lot of people might not even realize it and they don't even think about it. The change of foods. Yes. From oh my God, that plays such a huge part, from man. The mother, I like, never change the food. Like I never change the food. Because it just put, it just impacts everything too much, yeah, in my like, opinion. If the, the, the puppies are used to what the mom's eating, that's coming through the milk. So if you're changing it up and you say, you know what, I want her to produce more milk, so I'm gonna switch her from, my puppies are now five days yep. old. Yep. I'm gonna switch her from this food yeah. to this food. Yep. They're not used to what's in that food now. Now, all your puppies are at risk of, like, or, or can yeah. you know, develop certain issues yep. like blood poop and, and, and stuff like that. And that's I mean? why, like, when I first, first see it. Food changes a big Yeah, thing. when I first, first see, you know, it go yellow or green yeah, or blood. Yeah. I normally, when I first, first see it, though, I normally... I'll monitor it, but I won't just jump the gun yeah. and start treating it. Yeah. I'll no, wait till I see it, maybe if, like if, a if second. It's, if it's stool. blood, if it's blood, I jump on it. But if it's a green one, I separate. If it, it depends on you know it, I mean? it depends on the blood. Like if it's diarrhea blood, yes, I'll jump on it. But if it's like hardened stool, which streaks, blood, then you gotta watch. I'll, you gotta yeah, play. I watch some, it because exactly. sometimes also it can be simply from uh, like you can get blood in your poop simply from constipation. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean from the straining, constipated. the straining, and the straining is like oil in yeah, there. like the straining is like you know it's messing up their their back end, yep. Yep. but in the inside. Yeah. So while it's coming out, is it's catching blood as it's coming down, yep. and you think it's blood in the poop, but it's blood on exactly. The poop, you know, and, and and honestly, I think healthy stools, yeah, he healthy stools and healthy urine is like one of the best telltale signs oh, that yeah. you got healthy puppies. Oh, yeah. You know, like and you can like that, yeah, like you're, That's, you're, I, I get I, I, when I see a nice healthy stool, I'm like, yes, yeah, like, hell yeah, <laughs> like 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 healthy, like you. But that's a good one too to bring up healthy yep. urine. Yep. Like as far as it being like color wise, you want it a like slightly with a tint of yellow, like yep. a tint, but not yellow, yeah. not like yeah, and obviously not pronounced yeah, and stuff like that, and not orange. Yeah. Once you had orange, you know you you at that you at you at heaven's door, baby. Yep. You get ready. <laughs> you get ready. Exactly. You get ready to go. <laughs> so extremely yeah. dehydrated, yeah, man. So anyway, we figured we take the time and, and break down, you know, the stools because I mean, as a whelper or even just someone who's having puppies, yeah. this, this is a big thing. This poop. can this can be between life and death with puppies. Poop is normally so, like the 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 uh, telltale. You know what I mean? It's normally like 
Yep. One of the first signs, the poop so, and the pee. So up until, you know, they get a little bit older, what's the ideal color? Of what, poop? Yeah, it's, yeah it's stool and your I like them. I like it. I like it with a nice orange to it. Like a nice yeah. tint of orange, nice I, like and a, Almost like a, like a darker car- caramel color. Yeah, right? but yeah, right. Yep, but yep. nice, like a nice stiff, but not too stiff, but a nice firm poop, Yeah, it needs to you know be I mean? stiff as well, too. That's, that's, yeah. that's all, that's all yep. I look for. If I can get that, yep. that's a good day. Exactly. That's a real good day. Any signs of diarrhea, any iniquity, you might be, the puppy might be uh, start getting oh, yeah. dehydrated. Oh, yeah. So that's where. Oh, yeah, you yeah, got to jump the, on that that's immediately. That's the ideal stool. So. You got to jump on diarrhea immediately. <laughs> who who would have thought we could have... Talk this long about puppy poop, about poop. <laughs> poop. <laughs> but yeah, when you when you doing it as long We're as us, you know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> telling you, but man, like it saves lives, like yeah, saves lives. And that's, that's... It's something that people overlook but don't realize. Mm-hmm. That's 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 the puppy telling you how healthy or unhealthy it is yeah. through its fecal, through its feces. You know. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we hope this information was helpful. We hope it was useful. Make sure you guys go check out, you know, No Days Off Bullies on his Instagram page. Make sure y'all tap in with us, Breeders Hacks. Um, If you guys want to see more episodes like this, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and drop a comment down below saying you guys want to see a part two. All right. Well, just anything generally like around puppies that you would like to know. You know? Yeah, exactly. Let us know. All right. So information. We'll, we'll tap in with y'all. All right. See y'all in the next episode. Ooh. Oh, man. How long was that? That was a good one. <laughs>